Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm so happy you're here and of course I hope everyone has an amazing day so far. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Iyani and I'm doing this DIY channel together of course with Diane. On this DIY channel you will find lots and lots of seasonal decor DIYs and everyday decor DIYs. If you like this content and you're not subscribed to our channel, of course, we hope you will click the red subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. It would help our channel a lot to grow and it doesn't cost you anything. Of course, if you want to see more DIYs, come on over to our description box. There you find the link for this channel and of course other, other channels, which you will find also lots and lots of DIYs. So enough talking, let's jump into our DIY. You see already on the table what do we need. We need of course our tom metal blocks. You can use a glue gun if you like to work with it. I'm preferring the last couple of I think a half year already uh, the wood glue it takes a little bit more of your time but your uh, projects stay uh, at least perfectly in each other so that's always also a great thing what I'm going to do is some mud parts some paint at your choice of course some scissors some brushes and some glue sticks if you are using your glue gun so these are the main pieces what we need for this DIY of course also later a little bit of greenery at your choice what we're going to make we are going to make a watering can so we will see how this will turn out of course always with a twist we are going to start with the bottom of our watering can and here in the Netherlands we call a watering can a gieter that's a totally different word than you use watering can at least the english people use a uh, watering can like i said we use gieter it's really with the g so i'm going to go for six blocks for the bottom i have already six and i'm going to do five with only with some glue and number two number three number four and a number five and we're going to roll them together like this. We make a nice straight line, squeeze it and press it like this. And we are going to place this. And of course, I totally uh, did forget it's not six blocks, it is nine. So we're going to go for one extra, for two extra. For the ninth also. So now we have really the bottom like this. Squeeze it. Make a nice straight line so your work will look very high end when you are having it finished. Of course, we let this dry in for a couple of minutes. And this piece is drying. Of course, I was counting and counting again. And you have to, don't have need. Uh, nine blocks you need eight blocks because we are going to build around it and then we have with nine blocks we have too much so you have to use eight blocks for the bottom sorry for the misunderstanding i was uh, counting for on top but i have to have it on the outside and not on the inside so eight blocks are more than enough we are going to go for the sides and we are going to do six blocks and we could just easily do the same like we did with this one. Just five blocks in some glue. And number five. And again, roll them together and make a nice straight line again. Squeeze it real tight. And I know sometimes the blocks are not even. I have the same problem like you all have. We have to work with it. And of course, you can use some speckle if you want to fill it up. But most of the time, I always like it a little bit better if you don't. Again, six blocks. And three, four, five, and six. And we're going to make a second one. And this is one. And number two. Number three number four and number five and we're going to roll them together again and this way squeeze it and press it down and make a nice straight line out of it 
Then we're going to let this dry in for a couple of minutes and then we're going to take our old piece of uh, kitchen, uh, I call it a kitchen towel. Here in the Netherlands we call it aanrecht doekje. I think you call it a little bit different also. So I'm going to go and I'm going to wipe away the glue we don't need, but we let it dry in first a little bit. So we have our bottom, we have already the sides of our um, watering can. Of course, we're going to very carefully lay it over here. And we are going to go now for six blocks again for one side already. And this is uh, six. And we're going to do the same. And again, I don't have to tell you anymore how you must do it. You already know. But of course, I show it to you step by step so you can easily make it yourself. And of course, also learn from my mistakes. And again, this is already one. And we're going to make three of this one. This is number three, four, six again. And if you have uh, also, I ask you always in the, the DIYs, if you have something built yourself, uh, a project or something else, maybe some drifted item you changed up or something else, I hope you... Take it your time to make a picture out of it and send it to us because we would love to see so badly how what you are making because we love home decor and we always love to see uh, how you are making your uh, DIY. So if you don't mind and you like to show us, I hope you will take a little bit of your time and make a picture out of it and send it to our uh, mail address because you will find it also in our description box. It's always very easy. So, but of course you don't have to, it would be nice, but of course I understand if you don't want to, it's also fine too. So again, squeeze and make a straight line like this. And I'm going to let this dry in also for a couple of minutes. And our first side is dry in already a little bit and we're going to go in a moment further. But first, we need, of course, also our other side, because a water can always has two sides, <laughs> at least one, if we don't want the water to go out. It looks a little bit better if you have two sides. And this is already the first of the three. And again, I'm going to squeeze it real hard. And this is, of course, a seasonal uh, water can because you can use it for any season. We are going to make it this time for the fall season. But like I told you, you can do anything. I will do a use a print, which is for the fall. But you can use a print for the Christmas season if you like that better. Or maybe for spring, uh, for next year. Or the 4th of July, you can do uh, blue, red and white in it. That's just up to you. And for the Easter, you can do, of course, an Easter um, print on here, of, on your watering can. And this is number two. And the last one already. And then we already have all our sides. Four, five, and six. And, and if you want to see uh, lots of prints, we have, of course, in our description box, we also have our free printable so go ahead there you find lots of pictures you can use for your um, DIY so if you want to I'm looking for some inspiration maybe you can go and find there because in our description box like I said there is the link for our free printables for uh, lots of seasons I'm going to let this dry in also So what we're going to do, because the this three and this three are the sides, so I'm going to lay them on the side and I'm going to go some glue on this side and take every block with it. And of course we're going to do for this one. And again, some glue over here. We're going to place it down again. Be careful because it's still not totally dried. We're going to make it together like one big side piece like this and we're going to squeeze it press it and give it some time to uh, dry in and we are going to do for the second one of course the same routine 
we are going to do again some glue over here and we're going to do it for the second one over here and now we're going to place it down place this one down and this one and we're going to make a nice straight line and we hope everything will fit together like this and you see already with here, one is already a little bit shorter. So there is weer a block which is shorter than the other ones. And you come a little piece uh, short over here. So we have to work with it. And this is just a normal package. And every time you have uh, pieces which are shorter, thicker or something else. But we will work with it. All the pieces are drying. We need now five blocks because we uh, also the watering can is on the uh, top, not totally open. He always has a piece is uh, closed. So I'm going to use five blocks for it. And I'm going to one, two, three and four. And I think I have then enough uh, for my opening but of course if you want to have it uh, closed more you do one block extra and if you want to have it more open you, you just leave one then you do four instead of five but I'm going for five and just squeeze it and let this dry in for again a couple of minutes we have all our pieces for the base of our watering can we just take one of the sides we just lay it down what you're going to do, you are going to take one of this side and you're going to glue it on here. So very easy. I have to look for if I'm doing it right because I don't want to be. Yes, I have it right because I don't want to tell you wrong. So one of the side is the one with the six blocks. Of course, I'm going to do some glue on this one and on the side already. And I'm going to place it exactly over here like this of course i have don't have to be in the my glue i take my towel now we're going to do the bottom and the bottom is the one with four five six seven and eight blocks again you're doing on the bottom your glue and of course, you see already, I should have done the glue on this side because the glue needs to be on this side. But of course, I can easily get it away later, so don't worry. I'm going to place this one over here. Make sure that you have a straight line with this one. And again, feel the sides like this. And that's the great about wood glue. You still can readjust it. We need this one, so we already have glue on this side. We need some glue on this side. And we are going to, because we are going to place it down this way, we need the bottom. It's a little bit tricky because I, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's well, I'm busy, uh, busy with doing it. So, and that's not a great thing. Two things together. Normally a woman should have done, but of course, thinking and doing it is something else so we're going to glue this one together and like this and i'm going to make it very squeeze a little and what we're going to do right now we do on this bottom some glue this is the one with the five piece a little over here and we're going to place this inside also again Make sure that you have a straight line like this. And now we're going to feel if everything is inside our frame. And of course, I'm going to work away the glue with my uh, wet towel. So don't worry about it. But for now, he is already drying in and I let this dry in for a couple of minutes. The next step is, of course, we're going to do some glue on this line. Totally around our box and this way and go over here until here and then we are going to do our second side we are going to do on here of course we have to be careful that we place it in the right spot And 
and this is straight and now we give it a little pressure on here this is a straight and this is also straight so we are going to let this dry in at least for i think an hour you see i placed my uh, water can at least the base i placed over here i'm going to put it here what we're going to do right now this will be a more difficult for me because i never did this i did a lot of things i never did but <laughs> of course this is also one of them i will make a kind of a stair which is making a loop for on top of this is the handle where you can get your um, water can but i don't know how i will do it so i hope you can see what i do <laughs> <laughs> I will show it you step by step and I want to do it with some wood glue because that's why we have to do it step by step and let it dry in the meantime because if you do it with your glue gun it's much, e much easier but then you never can get it up because it, everything will break. So I'm going to go for one line on this block. I'm going to place it halfway on our block this way. And the best thing what we can do is just place them this way. Then I'm going to do another block. And I'm going to do on this side some glue. And I'm going to place this one also halfway on the block. Just try to place it and squeeze a little in the meantime. And we go for another one. Because we going to start first with a loop on the side and again placing it halfway and now we're going to let this piece dry in for a couple of minutes like this the first four are dried in a little and we're going to go for a couple of more one over here and we're going to go further halfway again squeeze it and another one I'm going for six this way and then I'm going to go over to the other side. So first and this one, I'm going to let this dry in again. I could place you a little bit closer so maybe it is a little bit better to see because it's very tiny. What we're going to do now, we're going to do some glue on this side and on the other side, on this side. And place it down and we're going to do with this one the same and the other side oh. and we're going to place it very carefully on this top over here and we're going to do this one over here it is really um, a little bit <laughs> a task to do but of course at the end we hope it will give the result we need uh, like this and we're going to close it up with this one and squeeze it and press a little like this not too much and we're going to let this dry also and now we're going to build a little bit further again as you see already it's more like a little stair so I'm going to just keep it uh, this way on your table. So that's a little bit easier just to work with. Now we're going to do some block, but we go now the other direction. We go this way and just do it halfway. And again, a little glue on the block. And again, place it halfway. And don't do too many blocks in once because you can better let it dry in the meantime. Then you have a better result than when everything is falling apart because that's the um, the hardest thing with wood glue and uh, it still can fall apart even uh, after a couple of minutes so just be careful i'm just going to do another block first i'm going to do five and then i'm going to measure out how many i need to go up and again number five after we did this block and like this squeeze it press it a little tightly and now we're going to let this dry in again so and the next will be we go three up still three up because i want to be, uh, have a little bit of an yeah a unique handle i always <laughs> i always say 
and we're going to do for number two still then we have eight after this one and number two and number three and that will be the ending and of course what i'm going to do i'm going to place this one over here and be sure that you don't press them down to the inside you have to be sure that he is in a straight line like this or else your handle will be falling down and this way now we're going to get another block and we're doing some glue because we're going down and we're going to place it in the middle of this one so and this way because we're going down now we're going to go for three blocks i think three or four blocks we're going down like this and number two and we're going to place it against here number three and number four and then we're going to let it dry in again It is a little bit of work, but at the end, I hope it, <laughs> the result will be, <laughs> will be very nice. So for the last closing up uh, we are going to do, we're going to take four blocks. We take one of this one. We're going to do some glue on this one, on this side. And we place it down. We do on the second block the same. And like this. And what we're going to do, we're going to do the same like we did in the handle this way we're going to place it and we're closing it up with one block so we leave a little opening like this and just let it fall in and just let it dry in a moment i showed you a little bit closer so now we're going to glue our last piece so we're going to do some glue on the side on here again and we are going to place it halfway this one and again squeeze it and press it down this way and remove the glue you don't need of course this one and i always have like i said my wet kitchen towel over here and i'm going to remove the glue because we don't need too much glue or else you see it uh, later on when you're going to paint it so very easy just Remove it and keep it in place for a little moment until it sucks in like this. And then we're going to go further with the front of our uh, water can. So we're going to lay this beside over here. Maybe this is better if we lay it this way. What we're going to do right now, we are going to get four blocks. Very easy. We are going to go for a little square and we're going to make one. We're going to place this together like this and we're going to do another one. We do some glue and we're going to place it down and we're going to glue this together this way. And now we're going to do on this side. And we're going to do it on this side. And I'm going to, of course, I have to look, I have to do it this way. And I'm going to squeeze it in. And now we have a nice square. And we're going to press it under, not on the top, or else it will be falling apart. But this is, we have to do it on the underside. We let this dry and we are going to make another one. We're going to get couple of blocks and of course i also have two blocks with a mark on top of it and i'm going to work them inside of because you don't see the mark anymore always in one package it's always one block which has the mark i don't know why they do the mark on top of it of course the it is the brand but I don't understand why you do it on the blocks because normally you can't use the block because the mark is very hard to get away. And I'm going to do for the last 
of course over here and this one over here and we're going to place it and like this and squeeze it and press it down and this is number two and now the last one again one over here we're going to place it together this is already one we go for number two and over here this one and the last and this is over here and we're going to do it again on this side and we're going to place it this way of course I have to do it and squeeze it in and we're going to press it on the underside like this and I'm going to let it dry in for a couple of minutes and then I'm removing the glue so all of three of them are dried in I'm going to lay them down and of course I'm going to make sure that I have a nice fit on each side when I'm going to glue them together like this I have to look for if everything is fitting all right of course you can uh, go for the lines on each side the same so like this you can also go for this one or to turn it over and this way it's also fine but you can do anything you like i think this one looks a little bit more you see already this one is a little bit smaller than the other two you see already and that's what i mean you always uh, are comparing what is better what is um which one can I use the best? So I'm going to go for, I'm going to try to do it this way. And then I'm going to do the cut on this block on the smaller one. So I'm going to go for a little glue on the middle in the inside. So if the glue is falling inside, I'm going to do also over here. And make sure that you have enough glue because you don't want to fall it off. And this way, and we're going to squeeze it. And press it and make sure that everything sticks together because we are going to get our jigsaw later and we're going to saw out a piece so all our pieces are now ready uh, we have our planter of course of our watering can we are going to just easily just place it like this and just for the uh, way to measure it out i'm going to go for my pencil and I'm going to look for where I want to have my cut sideways because it has to be uh, cut sideways this way. So I'm going to check out. I think I'm going to go for maybe like this and on this. So I'm going to get my ruler. I'm going to lay this apart and I'm going to get it and I'm going to get the lines together and then this way. And I'm going to make a sideways with my pencil. And this is what I mean. Of course, I'm going to get my jigsaw and I'm going to saw it out. And then I'm going to uh, glue it on our watering can. And you see already, I didn't cut it in totally yet because I did uh, saw it too fast. Because I, want, I wanted to do it too fast and the glue was not totally dried in yet so I have to wait a couple of uh, hours until he's really really dried in so I'm going to wait with this one we're going to glue the sides we're going to give our planter of course with the opening over here we place it this down but of course we can't glue it because uh, if we glue it he will be too low so we have a line of blocks so we do one block over here one over here one over here and one over here and we're going to place our ear on top of here so we have the height we need of course we are going to dry and we go to this way we still need to move in because we <laughs> still need to go over here and we place our blocks under it so we are sure that everything will glue in the right place of course I want to have it here so I'm going to do now some glue on here and I'm going to glue it on top and now he has the right height to dry and he will be exactly in the middle.
and you see already his ear is on top of here and now i did also glued with some glue my top of my um a water watering can uh, on top of here it's very easy i just give it a little uh, uh, uh stand or maybe something that he can rest on and then i'm just squeezing it uh, on here because it takes a lot of time when you have really just everything to show it to you because that's so much uh, much of your time so i just did some wood glue on top of here i just placed it against here and I just give this uh, something to lean on. So I'm going to let this dry also at least for a couple of hours. So I'm sure he doesn't fall off. And I still hope that my ear is not falling off. And then I show you the whole watering can in one. And you see the watering can, how he is turned out. And I'm so happy with it, especially with his ear. Because it's uh, different than you will normally see. And of course, it is a decorative piece. So what we're going to do right now, I'm going to give it some uh, paint. And I'm going to use my sand color wood paint. It also gives, if I do one layer, a little bit of the structure of the wood still coming through. So I'm going to use this one. But of course, go ahead and do, uh, do any color you like. And you see already the water can is drying and like I said I did it in the sand color but you can do maybe a green color or maybe any color which is fitting for your decor. I'm going to go now to my computer. I'm going to make a print for the front side and on the back side. You can use of course a print for everyday decor, for a fall decor. I'm going a little bit because I am crazy about Christmas so I'm going to ready for a little bit of a Christmas uh, print. But of course you're free to do. If you want to look for prints come on over to our description box. There you find the free printables link and there you will tons and tons of beautiful uh, prints for you maybe it's not everything your style but you can even you uh, look for it so i hope you will find something so for now i'm going to go to my computer and you see what i made and here you see what i made for the front and the back side of course i'm going to cut it out and you see it backwards don't worry like i always say it's just my telephone so i'm going to get my scissors and i'm going to cut both of them out and i'm going to mud parts them on the front and on the back side So I printed both of them out, I'm going to lay one beside, I'm going to get a piece of kitchen towel, I lay my print upside down this way and I'm going to get my mud podge and I'm going to mud podge the back side. Of course do the mud podging any way you like because I'm not a great example from how you mud podge because I'm always doing something, I really have no, sometimes no idea and most of the times it works but of course go ahead and do whatever you think is right. Some people use uh, some uh, uh, water to spray it in, uh, I really, I tried it but it didn't work so I'm just going to do what I think is right but go ahead, do whatever you think is right. Of course I'm going to glue it on top of here. I'm going to try to get it in the middle, like this, and I'm going to work my way down and make sure that we have it straight, of course I have to look, and I'm going to work it down very gently, and I try not to get more parts on the front of my uh, picture because I like a little bit of the matte finish, but if you like a shiny finish, then you have to go when everything is dried up, you have to go uh, with your mud parts uh, an, another time over it. But I always love a little bit more of the rustic look, so I'm going for this one. I will do the back side and then we're going to give it a little bit of decoration. So I placed you a little bit closer for everyone who loves to see it, how easy it is just to make a simple little arrangement inside of here. And of course you don't have to do it, you can also just uh, decorate it any way you like and then just place it. I'm going to take uh, two pieces of some uh, greenery and I'm going to bend it a little bit because this is with some uh, wiring. So I'm going to do one on this side over here like this and I'm going to do the other one also bending a little bit and I'm going to do it this way and in this corner so like this 
I'm going to get, I have two pieces of a ribbon I was have laying around. Of course, you see one is already has a fish tail, the other one doesn't. So I'm going to the sides which are, doesn't have a fish tail like this. I'm going to bend them, get my scissor and give them also a fish tail. So very easy, like this. Now they both have a fish tail on each side. I'm going to double it up. I'm going to cut it open. And this way, and I'm going to do the other one the same. I'm going to double it up. So I have on each side uh, a piece of the ribbon. Of course, cut it open. I'm going to, you can go for, of course, for the black one. I love that also, but of course, also for the striped one. I think I'm going for today, I'm going for the, I don't know if I'm going for, I think I'm going for the stripe. So I'm going to do some glue on the ending, lay my ribbon on top, but a little bit sideways. I hope you can see it just this way. It's a little bit sideways. I'm going to do this one the same. Again, do some glue on the middle. And I'm going to do this part a little bit again sideways. Be sure that you don't burn yourself because it is very hot. So we have two pieces. I'm going to place one on this side and I'm going to place one on the other side. Just squeeze it in. You don't have to glue it because you can later, if it falls out, you just place it back and do your greenery over it like this. I have two pieces of this kind of greenery. I, it's, this is just what something I have laying around in a couple of them. So I'm going to go squeeze one on this side and this way. And I'm going to do one in the other side. And again, just work your way inside. I'm having some couple of the, yeah, a little bit, bit of white uh, and a different kind of greenery. And I'm going to squeeze it in the middle like this and lay it as beside and I'm going to do on this side the same and you see already there's no rhyme or reason why I do something I just on my feeling I have here some a red berries they are from a bigger brand and I always tear them apart so I have more for my money and I'm going to squeeze it lightly over the green greenery I have on this corner and I'm going to Try to get it in. It's a little bit of work and lay it over here just like this. And I'm going to do it on this side the same. Again, bend it a little bit and place it over the greenery branch and just lay it over here. And for me, it is uh, quite finished right now because uh, I don't like it too busy. So I am going to keep it this way, but you can go all the way you want. In a moment, you see a quick impression. And here you see a quick impression of our thumbnail towel blocks watering can. And I'm so happy how it turned out, especially the handle. We took a little bit more time for it, but it gives a little bit more of a high-end look. Of course, I hope you did this DIY together with me and you also right now have your own watering can. And if you not made it yet, of course, I really recommend it for in your own home. If you love to see more DIYs, what we do with some of the towel blocks, come on over to our description box. There you find the link for our DIY channels. Of course, if you're not subscribed and you like what you see, we hope you will click the red subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. It would help our channel a lot to grow and it doesn't cost you anything. So for now, we enough talking. I hope to see you next time. Bye.